so I would now move to uh, uh, the chapter 2 which is generic view of process we have around 14 chapters here so this would be uh, quite take like <coughs> half an hour uh, to produce this this would be like uh, 7 to 8 or 10 hours to do that uh, so the generic view of process software engineering a layered technology a process framework the capacity maturity model uh, process pattern and process assessment so I'm going there so the generic view of process so in the generic view of process we are software engineering a layered technology why we call this layer because at many levels we don't know how the abstraction level works even in the programming domain uh, some programming uh, some part might be programmed in assembly some in C some in the higher level language the process framework uh, a software process character software process process development software development life cycle process development capacity maturity model the the term here is uh, capacity uh, capability maturity model uh, this is a generic view recognize software engineering a layer technology uh, process framework capacity uh, capability maturity modeling sorry i pronounced that wrong so we'll check it from here so i move ahead on to this one so a layer technology what are the different layers uh, this is a uh, kind of a philosophical aspect which we are looking at and out of quant or other thing so process layer it's an adhesive that enables rational and timely development of computer software uh, defines an outcome uh, that must be acclaimed for efficiently delivery then you have method layer it provides technical knowledge for developing software the layer covered a broad array of tasks that include requirement analysis design program construction then we have the tool layer it provides comprised or semi comprised support for process method layer sometimes the tools are integrated in such a way that the other can be used so while you look at even the process layers we have tool layer uh, in the process layer uh, you have development in the method layer you have the method like analysis design in the tool layer multi-use component computer aided software design uh, case uh, computer software design uh, hardware software so application development the goal is software engineering then you have process framework let me show you how we are so we have process method and tool layer right now when you go a little down you have process framework and of course the other two would be the things that uh, you would be looking at so just before software process software development then you have capability maturity model you still going to find organization software development process do you have that capability or was it uh, going to be used uh, uh, capability maturity model shown on the right hand side uh, CMs five objective a big topic so uh, method of developing a software and then you have capability maturity model some of the keywords here so in, in the broad level uh, I would talk about how this software process would work so we have process framework so software process is a set of obligation concept as I described high level purpose of software engineering don't know how the processes are carried out so this is just at a high level then relation between software processes project and products so software processes then you have project and then you have product process uh, for uh, writing a subject would be set object uh, outline the content research the topics covered to literature review gather the overall process Further restriction on degree of freedom for a particular process specified by the project plan which is within the boundary establishment. Software processes like uh, product engineering, design, uh, development process, project management process, software configuration process management. What is a software process? So it is software specification, software development, software relation, software evolution. Software process model. So workflow model, the software this shows the sequence of activity along with the inputs. Data flow model and relocation model, role of people involved. Uh, the different uh, generic model or paradigm for software development waterfall approach evolutionary process formal transformation system assembly from re reusable components so these are like uh, uh, paradigms of uh, software development model uh, this takes into account represented in separate process phases evolutionary development is a reusable 
characteristic of uh, software process of predictability cost of correcting signs so acceptance testing cost of correcting uh, uh, increases while uh, you don't uh, deal with them uh, if you do it by the new software development life cycle the process specification a step in the process phase VNV information to various exit criteria and output the capability maturity model this is uh, the main uh, topic here so is a method used to develop and refine organization software development process the model has five level of evolutionary path of enthusiasm organization systematic measure the cm was developed and promoted by software engineering institute research and carried out by the department of defense cf 1984 to address software engineering issues uh, because the process are equally capable so the purpose of cmm uh, that describes the key element of effective process for the foundation on process improvement the cmm uh, covers the uh, practices of planning engineering managing development and maintenance CMO का यार स्टेक आई चोट तो जज़न रिस्पांसिबल है CMO का डिफ़ेक्ट ऑफ़ स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्स। नाउ इनिशियल रिपीटेबल डिफ़ाइन्ड मैनेज्ड एंड ऑप्टिमाइज़ेबल सो अ सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोसेस कैपेबिलिटी मॉडल दी SCI द फाइव मैच्योरिटी मॉडल लेवल आर इनिशियल देन यू हैव रिपीटेबल प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट at the initial level, processes are disordered, even chaotic. Uh, success is likely to depend on individual effort. At a repeatable level, basic project management is established and success could be repeated because the project will, therefore success is repeated, so it is called repeated. Uh, at the defined level, organization has developed a no standard software process through greater than documented standard integration. At the man managed level, organization monitors and controls the process through data collection and analysis. At the optimization level, process constantly to improve. So, Level 1 and 2 is uh, repeatable uh, quality SM contract ma management. Then you have level 2. Level 1 and 2 is like initial and repeatable configuration subcontract on site. Then uh, level 3 is defined peer review, intergroup product design integrated. Then you have managed quality assurance optimization. So define, managed, uh, manage this product and process quality. And then you have the initiation. Improvement, data analysis, and feedback. Company, company, and product, and very sure of the system. So, that was about uh, uh, the capability maturity model. This is an important uh, topic in terms of uh, the exam as well. Capability maturity model.